What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to the show. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, follow that Twitter and Instagram right down below. Today, we're going to be talking about the Grammys. I can't stand the award shows anymore. I'm sorry, I just can't. Because and the reason why I can't stand them is because at first it was like, oh man, did did these singers pay for their award? You know, I hope they didn't pay for it. That was like in the 80s, and then it was like, oh man, did these singers sleep with other people to get this award? I hope they didn't do that. Now these award shows don't even care. They are nominating people just because of their Instagram popularity. They're nominating people just because of their. It's just who the fans think is like the coolest. That's not that's not what the Grammys were about. The Grammys were about art. The Grammys were about musical art. Do you understand me? Musical art with instruments, with drums, guitars, poetic lyrics. And now you might tell me, yeah, but what about hip hop, man? Hip hop in the '90s was the beats were done with actual instruments. the 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 music was poetic. There was actual art. There was poems. The motive that is bleeding through the Grammys is so obvious. I was a fan of The Weeknd in 2014, even before undergrad. So this is a long time ago, man. So I'm in grad school right now, and I was listening to The Weeknd when I was in high school. Okay, that's how long I've known The Week. I've listened to The Weeknd. And he is one of the only artists today that is really out there doing his thing. And uh, he didn't even get nominated for a single Grammy. Not even a single one. I know you might tell me, uh, did, are you sure you're not mixing it up with he didn't win a single Grammy? That's different. No, he didn't even get nominated for a single one. Meanwhile, guess who performed? My favorite artist in the world, Megan The Stallion. That's sarcasm, by the way. Uh, Megan the Stallion performed at the Grammys, but the weekend didn't win a single, didn't even get nominated for a single Grammy. The motive is so obvious at this point. The Grammy is warped by the powerful people, the billionaires that own Hollywood. And the motive is continued to being, uh, continuing to be pushed. Now, it wasn't being pushed as much. It was still a corporate conglomerate in the 80s and 90s, but it wasn't being pushed as much. It wasn't. I'm sorry. Things were still the way they were. Things were still very neutral. Things were very, still very uh, real and backed by art. Now, there may have been a few things where if you know a guy that knows a guy, then you may win a Grammy because you know the guy. Fine. In today's world, all that is, is a mess. None of it matters. It's all about how much clout you have, if you're relevant on TikTok, if you have the followers on the Instagram, and you're so cool and you twerk on the TikTok. It, it is, I can't believe that the Grammy stooped to this level. I think if we raised our bar a little bit higher, if we just raised the bar a little bit higher, it would maybe force these artists to, to make better music. What if the Grammy said, we're never going to have people like Megan Thee Stallion on the show? You have to make music like The Weeknd. You have to make music like Frank Ocean. Or else we're never going to have you on the Grammys. People would actually start to do things. People would actually... They're, they're forcing musicians to make real music at that point. Because they're giving them an ultimatum. But the Grammys have sold out and cashed in big time on the modern era of promiscuity and... Love thy body. Make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm disappointed. I don't like the Grammys. I never liked it for the last five years. Uh, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.